everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video. You know, lately I've opened for myself a beautiful world of special effect makeup and today we're going to work some more in this direction. You know, I have lots of ideas for these special makeovers for big Barbie doll hats, but today I'm going to make one that I have in my head already for sure for I don't know, maybe even 10 years, because I really remember seeing this make, this kind of makeup for the first time and I was so much impressed that I really wanted all this time to recreate it. First on my own face, but it's never happened, so let's do it today on one of my big Barbie doll hats. And I'm talking now about this so-called triple vision makeover. You know, when you're looking at someone's face and it feels so flippy that you're almost freaking out because it's all turning, all like blah, blah, blah. I call it a flippy makeup. So, I was always curious to know if you can do something like this without magic skills because it looks for sure very surrealistic. So, I'm gonna test it today. So, let's take a doll, let's take all my materials and let's start working. Let's go! Let's quickly prepare this doll for a makeover now and you've seen the same kind of dolls many times on my channel. So I will not really show her features and the accessories too detailed, I order them online from the Netherlands, they're very affordable, look like Barbie and the rest is not really important because I will remove everything anyway. And this is exactly what I'm do going to do right now. So first I'm cutting her hair as short as I can and then I remove her makeup with pure acetone. Then I spray it with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and I let each layer dry for at least 30 minutes. I take a very light brown pencil and I start sketching her eyes. And I work like always with Faber Castell Albrecht Durer watercolor pencils. And I also want to thank you guys for all your comments under my last video, where I tried to repaint it all under 24 hours. I asked you if some of you were interested in joining my workshop on doll repainting, if I still needed even to keep working on it, and I've got so many cool messages from all around the world. Thank you so much for being so open and so creative, I feel so thankful and lucky also that I have this amazing friendly community here on my channel, some kind of doll family for me. And already very soon you will see the first work of my very first student here on my channel, so I really can't wait to start teaching him. But it's gonna happen in my next videos, maybe check if you're subscribed to my channel, because sometimes you think you are, and in reality you are not, this is what happens to me at least all the time, and for now let's concentrate on this doll. So first of all I'm drawing everything like I usually do, a pair of eyes and a pair of eyebrows. This step is done, I can start working on a double vision effect. And for this I need to draw another pair of eyes and eyebrows right under the already existing ones. And it's very important to be symmetric and draw an exact copy of the first eyes.
work a little bit on her nostrils and then I also draw the lips. And of course, if she has two pairs of eyes and eyebrows, we will need the second lips as well. And of course, to reach the full double vision effect, we should draw the second nose in the middle of the existing one. I've sealed her face with Mr. Super Clear to protect my work and now I'm going to give some extra realistic dimension to all her eyes, noses and lips using Rembrandt Soft Pastels.
then I also slightly contour her face and the body. prepared a bunch of color pencils and I made them very sharp, so now I'm going to add more colors to her face. And now it starts to look pretty flippy, so if you feel dizzy while watching or a little bit uncomfortable from it, try to keep your eyes on one spot, for example just look into the corner of the upper right eye, because if you look at her face in general it might be a little bit yeah, turning.
After this layer I spray everything again with Mr. Super Clear, I let it dry for half an hour and then I add highlights and color accents to her face. With a very sharp black pencil, I draw the bottom lashes on her four eyes and I also add an eyeliner. With the white acrylic paint I add reflections to her eyes and this step makes the eyes really alive.
And the next step is attaching the false lashes four times. I use tacky glue for it like always, and then I apply a layer of acrylic gloss to her eyes and lips. I want to keep her hairstyle quite simple to not take the attention from her face. So I think I will borrow a wig from another doll I've made this summer, I think it will fit here. And here is my flippy trippy double vision makeup for Barbie. I think it looks really cool and I will even keep her in my studio for a while because it's really very unusual and different from everything I've done before. And I hope you also enjoyed this unusual makeover. Oh, and by the way, I have a really good news for everyone who loves when we're collaborating with my mom. The last week I've spent with her working on new looks and outfits and also organizing the filming process in her house. So, already very soon, you will see the whole bunch of dolls wearing clothes made by my mom and I will finally be able to show you how she makes it all. And I also convinced her to make a couple of outfits for sale, so we had a very productive time together and you will see the results really soon. And that was it for today, and now I really want to hear what you think about this kind of a makeover, and just tell me, how are you doing, what's new in your life, what's in your mind, Yeah, how's it going with you? And of course, please support my work with your likes, and don't forget to subscribe to see more doll repaints every week Friday. Have a nice weekend everyone, bye!